School security is top of mind across many districts tonight. Who knows why this happens after incidents like this, but five students at five different schools were arrested today. Those students either took a gun to campus, threatened to take one, or threatened violence. All of those students are now facing very serious charges. Our Keith Garvin joining us live at Huffman ISD headquarters. Keith. Bill, this school board meeting wrapped up about an hour ago, and parents here have found themselves thrust into the middle of this wave of school gun violence. Many are pledging to not let their children return to school for the rest of the school year unless significant security changes are made. That's something we may hear from other parents in Austin this week. I am not going to let my kids come to school until we figure out a better way. The standing room only crowd at Monday night's school board meeting at Huffman ISD, hours after a student at Hargrave High School in Northeast Harris County brought a gun to campus intending to harm himself. I don't think I've really ever felt any massive amount of danger as far as it goes, but this was a real change of pace. Huffman parents voiced their concerns Monday as other parents prepared to air theirs at a series of roundtable discussions headed by Governor Greg Abbott in Austin beginning Tuesday. Lawmakers will meet with parents, students, educators, and advocates on both sides of the gun debate to discuss potential legislative changes in light of the Santa Fe High School shooting. After Monday's incident, people in Huffman say with schools being so-called soft targets, campus security needs to be hardened. We need to increase uh, our presence as far as security, possibly armed security. You can't ban guns, you can't limit control against the Constitution, but you can just make sure people can have them safely. Others hope the issue of proper parenting is raised in Austin. Lynn Ward, whose son is a student at Hargrave, says parents should take a larger and more active role in stopping gun violence. I think the parents ultimately are responsible for paying attention to what your children are doing, who they're hanging out with, how they're acting, um, any kind of strange signs that are going on. Now, parents here tonight did praise the school district for their quick action to today's incident at Hargrave. They also suggested some things like the presence of armed security or maybe police officers, other suggestions, metal detectors or closed campuses. But really, parents part of this now collective conversation on what we need to do to make sure our kids stay safe in school. Reporting live from Huffman in Northeast Harris County, Keith Garvin, KPRC Channel 2 News. All right, Keith, thank you. In fact, we asked our viewers in our earlier newscast today to go to our KPRC Facebook page and offer us their suggestions for keeping students safe. And here's what they would tell the governor at his roundtable if they had the chance. Rick Cunningham says it's very simple. Metal detectors and armed security guards are what we need. Sue Hudson writes each room in the school would have an alarm button that the teacher could activate for an active shooter. Sandy Barron said no backpacks, big jackets or coats. Maybe they should bring back uniforms. And Dory writes, I think a different kind of alarm. Fire alarms send them out of rooms. Active shooter alarm could prepare them to hide or lock inside of their rooms. All great ideas.